Hello, my name is James Martinez. I'm an author, an artist, poet, photographer, filmmaker, and I've encountered many incredible experiences throughout my research and throughout life. I've discovered otherworldly places. I've been to otherworldly realms and different dimensions, and I've transcended space and time with God our Father and Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. I've done some things that are very difficult to understand for most people. People think that some things are simply impossible. Um, <laughs> I, I look at scientists, for example, and I know that when they think they can't prove something that it must be impossible or when it seems highly unlikely that it's impossible because they can't seem to find a solution or understand exactly how some things work. It doesn't mean that some things are impossible, it simply means that they are lacking faith. Faith in God, faith in the truth that really all things really are possible with Him. I have been in the direct presence of God our Father and He showed me His face. I've seen what the Creator looks like. As extraordinary as this sounds, as difficult as it may be to believe, God chose me to deliver messages for him, to become a part of the creation in an extraordinary way. And I've been working directly with him for a long time now. For, for many years, we've been writing, producing books, creating video messages, doing art, uh, telling the story of what it is that we're a part of. Now this is his story. This is God our Father's story. This is one of his great works. And the way that this story came about was because Jesus Christ, the Lord of this world, saved my life and helped me to understand how to walk and how to live and how to get close to God and how to do the things that we're doing now. I know that when you start talking about God our Father and Jesus Christ, people want to start throwing religion around. This message is not about religion. This is about the supernatural, this is about otherworldliness, this is about the spiritual truth of life. These are about absolutes that are universal for all of us. Talking about the spiritual truth that God, our Father, has allowed for us to understand. Some of the things that I'm going to share with you are rather challenging to understand if you've never had any experience yourself or you don't really understand how these things work. But basically we have energy on our body, energy energy points called chakra points and our chakras they spin like a wheel they spin circular and there's seven on our body and there's a few more that rise up above our crown when you are in perfect balance there is a, a, a light that that exhumes outwardly from us and that's what spiritual enlightenment is really about well what happened with me was in an enlightened state I discovered out-of-body movements I learned how to separate myself from my body spiritually and I was able to see the spiritual and the material world simultaneously. I was able to meet with angels, I was able to understand how demons work within this world, uh, the balance that we're supposed to keep that keeps us from faltering, if you will. I found all these different discoveries that allowed for me to go so far on these journeys that ultimately led me to heaven. And that's where I met with God our Father and Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> After that, God started coming to the house and he started uh, offering me uh, you know, lessons and he started offering me a new way of life and he started teaching me how to stand upright and how to do these things. And you know, I've been doing these now uh, for, for a number of years with him. I've been creating videos, telling the stories, um, you know, walking every day with him, delivering messages, re reaching people who are in need. He's moved me to many places throughout our journey. And it's not been an easy one, but it's absolutely been worth it. For me, transcendence was about stepping so far out of myself, out of my body, that I rose so far above it all that I literally went otherworldly. And in those otherworldly places is where God exists. I mean, he's all the places all the time here on earth, but I went so far as to be able to go to, to heaven. And it's an absolute real place. Uh, I got a chance to, to visit the first heaven and the second heaven and the third heaven. 
And you know, I've, I've written all about that experience and all the different insights and, and discoveries that I found along the way. I wrote about that in my first book, Once Upon a Transcendent Realm. Uh, it's out there, you know, people who read it, they all say the same thing. It's, it's extraordinary, the, the insights, the revelations, all the truths that come from it. You know, it's, it's not been an easy road to deliver these messages, but I know now, looking at the condition of the world, that it's absolutely necessary. So we're doing what we're doing, the Holy Trinity and myself, we're doing what we're doing to help remind people on how to live better. We're trying to, to call people back to life. We're calling them to a repentance. We're asking them to stand upright. We're asking them to do the right things. I'm talking about morally, you know, having the uprightness that we're supposed to exemplify. I'm talking about virtues. I'm talking about ethics, the right ones. I'm talking about the principalities that govern this world. I'm talking about real understandings that when you have that perspective straight, your life will get better. So again, these are the sorts of lessons that God has allowed for me to grasp along the way. And all these things are within the Holy Bible. I found that out also along the way. If you read the Bible, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. There have been many people since the beginning who have walked with God. It talks about that within the Bible, starting with Enoch. Uh, he showed his face to a number of people along the journey. So hearing about something like this shouldn't be so far-fetched that it's beyond understanding. It's simply beyond our understanding as a whole society right now. And the reason for that is because so many people are misled away from God, not doing the sorts of things that they're supposed to be doing. So that leads us back to what it is that we're revealing here. Telling the truth about the journeys that I'm on with God our Father and Jesus Christ and Holy Spirit. I'm talking about the sufferings and the persecutions and the things that I've had to endure in order to deliver these messages and why. And I'm sharing with you the spiritual truth and insights that have allowed for the changing of the past. Get that. The changing of the past. God changed the past and he allowed for this message to come through in an extraordinary way. I can prove it. It's within the first book. All the lessons that we're revealing, all the things that we're a part of, I can prove all that. Not that I feel like I need to, but it's there. And I invite everybody to it to come see for yourself. This is an extraordinary experience. This is absolutely world changing. So again, I give thanks to God our Father, and I do so through Jesus Christ who saved my life, and God filled me with the Holy Spirit. And today, we're delivering these messages to you. So I thank you for hearing this message, and I invite you to this journey. God bless you.